Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums. Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm back inside of No Man's Sky, and I'm on my PlayStation 5, and I loaded in with all the network settings and all the cross-play settings turned on. And this is the Halloween planet. Do you notice anything odd? There are no base computers around, apart from this one that's right here, which is Granny's PC Gaming. Her base is massive on PC. But on PlayStation D5, I'm not seeing anything here at all. It's it's crazy. There was a there should be a giant sort of like skeleton of a worm inside of that lake. A kaleidoscope, loads of stuff going on over here. There is nothing. Nothing on PlayStation D5. So I'm thinking if I'm not seeing anything on PlayStation 5, you guys in the viewerverse probably aren't on PlayStation 5, but here you go. Here's the coordinates in the bottom left-hand corner for this Halloween planet. Now, this video isn't about this Halloween planet, but I'm wondering whether base rendering and visiting of bases right now on PlayStation or console might be slightly scuppered. Now, I'm wondering whether it's got something to do with the PlayStation 5 Pro launch, which is happening probably about a week from now, really, isn't it? A week in, like, two days or something. Anyway, today's episode is going to be me upgrading this UFO. Yes, I'm going to fly on over to the station and I'm going to show you how the, it looks now. And I'm hopefully going to have it improved by the end of this video. Yeah, now it is a pretty lovely ship. I like the noises it makes. I like its aesthetic look. It's pretty darn cool. The only thing is I think everybody's going to be flying around in these things, you know. Right, OK, so if I go on over to Starship and you can't change the colour of them, which is a bit of a git, really, isn't it? But you can see here my slottage. I need to improve the slots so I can go do that. Now, I am actually in, I believe, creative mode. Let's just have a quick look. See, yes, I am, which means all of the upgrades I get for free. I've had so many ships and done this so many times that the grind for nanites, I just don't really fancy doing it again, ship after ship after ship. So in creative mode, I can just head on straight over to this terminal right here. Interactor Mondo was said terminal. That took a little bit of Interactor mondo -ing, didn't it? Right, OK, so here we go. Let's upgrade stars here. And let's apply augmentation. Sweet, I'm going to start in the technology area. Go to town up there. Just keep hammering the button. Free upgrade slot edge. And then it's gone down onto the old storage. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Now, I really wish ships had perks. You know, like the one that we got in Adrift? The uh, Iron Falcon or whatever it is, or the Iron Vulture, sorry. The Iron Vulture, it hovers in place, which is quite cool. I think so too does the um, the Starborn Runner, a little bit like Sentinel ships do. But I, I wish we had more perks on these these sort of ships. I don't know what the perk could be on this one, but uh, yeah, pretty darn cool. Anyways, that's all done. Yeah, we've managed to upgrade its slot edge. Cool. Now we need to move the technology around and make sure we've got all the adjacency bonuses that we need. So I'm just going to be looking at this top area here. Because you can see that not everything is bundled in the best way. A lot of things are in straight lines where to get the best adjacency, you want to put it into squares. So I'll be right back after I had a little play with this and had a think about what weapons I want on it. Okay, I've noticed something a little bit strange. The damage potential and hyperdrive is listed, but you don't get to see the shields or maneuverability. Why the fudge not? Hold on, let me just um, bring in one of my other ships, just for a second. Make sure I'm not going crazy. Why have they reduced it to just seeing the two? You used to be able to see shields and manoeuvrability. Now you can just... Why would they even do that? That's just bizarre. Oh yeah, I want to notice that I've got a load of prepackaged technology here. Very cool. OK, um, can I put this over to my exosuit? Maybe. OK, that uh, doesn't really matter. I can just rebuy them. But that is proper weird. Why would they have done that? That I would like to see more stats, not less. OK, where's my blinking ship gone? Somewhere amongst all of these, isn't it? I've got so many ships that have been given to me through events now. Oh, there it is there. It's got such a tiny little icon. OK. That is proper weird. I don't know why they've reduced the amount of stats that you see. 
I'm thinking about making this a space tank. I'm going to boost its shields massively and then give it one weapon with one boosted slot. It's just what weapon would I go for to make this the bestest of space tanks? Yeah, don't really want this. It's not really a tanky type weapon, is it? To be fair, that's like a Gatling gun. I'm thinking, mate, I would love to have like S-class missiles. It'd be cool to put S-class missiles in this thing, wouldn't it? I don't know. We'd we'll have a we'd we'll have a think. Okay, well I'm going to go for all weapons apart from the you know this thing, the Silotron, and also the photon cannon. So I'm going to have everything else in, and I've already started to get the building blocks in place for that. But the thing that I want to capitalise on is its shields, just to make it like a space tank. But let's um let's see if we can find the ship vendor. And let's see what modules are inside of my Halloween system. I say my Halloween system, it was found by Primal Nerds. Primal Nerds is going to be doing some tours on the 31st. I don't know whether they're on console or whether they're on PC, but it's interesting to see what they see, wouldn't it? So we've got Photon Cannon, that's one of the weapons I'm not doing. And Silotron is the other. Okay, but here we go, we've got Positron Ejector. Definitely want that. Want that. Want that. So there's three decent ones here. Now that I've bought those, I'm going to jump in my ship, out of my ship. I might as well install them in my ship. Um, but yeah, that creates a save, and I'm going to do a reload and buy those same modules again. So here we go, let's, let's jump in the ship. Install the modules. Okay, here we go, there should be in my exosuit, somewhere inside my exosuit, inside of all this mess. Right, so stick that over there on that S-Class booster. Lovely jubbly. Back into here again. Let's get the phase beam one. Stick that over there. Lovely, lovely phase beams. Exosuit, and we've also got the hyperdrive. Let's stick that over there. Oh no. Uh, oh, actually, it is getting the adjacency. I saw it light up like a Christmas tree, but that was a bit weird. Okay, cool, yeah. And I think we're looking pretty good. Have we got the emerald drive in? That's the emergency warp. No, so what I might do is just move this all over one slot. Like so. And then I hopefully have the emerald drive. There we go. You know, idiom. We want the idiom drive. Idiom drive. Install located. You know what? Let's move that down there a little bit. Give a bit more room for the pulse engines, because I think we've got a few more modules for pulse, haven't we? We've got this sublight amplifier. Well, let's stick that in as well. And I think we've got one more as well, which kind of gives you the drift. I think that would work quite nice for the UFO, to give it a bit of drift. So I'm going to go for that on this one. Go for a bit of drift on the old UFO. Righto. Okay, right. Um, I'm going to do a reload. Buy those modules a couple more times and get those installed. And then I'll reconvene with you a bit later. Okay, jumps. Well, I've got all that installed now. I mean, the only stats you can see is my damage potential and hyperdrive. If I hit on technology over here, you should be able to see just the technology area. And yeah, it's it's looking okay. I'm going to have to jump to a few more stations to get everything else that I need to boost this up massively. But it's getting there and getting there, kind of. Cool, yeah. So what I'm going to do is head on over to here. Now, I've been to loads of stations in the past. So I'm just going to hit up space stations. And I'm going to go to the bottom of my list and work from the bottom up. So I'm going to go through them all and see if I can find shield modules, pulse modules. And I think that's about all I need. Now, not every station is going to have a very good listing. You have to go sort of down to have a look what they've got. This guy's got no S-Class modules at all. Don't be fooled by that. That's for building your own ship. Okay. Okay, winner, winner, chicken dinner on this one because they've got Starship Shield modules, Positron Ejector, which I've now S-Class, though, which is fine. Launch thrusters, which I do need. Hyperdrive, which I've already maxed as well. But yeah, pretty darn cool. Now, if you do want to come to this system, if any of those tantalise your taste buds, there you go. There's the coordinates in the bottom left-hand corner. Now, this is inside of Hukaled. Hukaled, I guess. Okay, right. So, for me, I want the launch thrusters. And I also want the starship shield. Sweet. Thank you very much. Now I get those installed, I'm going to do the reload thing. Yeah, it's going to take me a while, and I'll reconvene once that's in. Okay, well, I found the last one I want, which is Infra Knife. Brilliant. And I think, well, after I've got that installed, I think I'm about done on this starship. So, yeah, let's just have a look at the technology section once more. 
So yeah, if I can build out the infra knife, might as well move it up a slot near towards the other weaponry. But yeah, and that that would be me pretty much done then. I'm fairly happy with you know, not having a couple of weapons in. And even if I did want to put them in, I've got room to. But I don't want to be cycling through my weapons in combat. I just want the weapons I want. This one for long range is a Gatling gun. This one is my tanky weapon. I've also got some missiles at long range as well. And then this is more for mining. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe I should have got one more phase beam module, but you know what? I'm not overly fussed about the phase beams. I'm going to rarely use it. Cool. Okay, chums. Well, this is going to be my last reload in, and you're probably going to want the coordinates for this one as well. Okay, so there you go. There's the coordinates in the bottom left-hand corner. Again, this is in Huka lead, and this is going to give you that um, lovely rapid fire unit. So there we go. Let's go into here. But not only that, I noticed that this one also has pulse engine. So I need that too, an infra knife. There we go, let's get those installed then. Right oh, so we go pulse engine. Let's see if this breaks, because it's hard to know whether we've got all the S classes in that I can have. There you go, it has broken. So we've got that one that gives those. Maneuverability only nine on that one. Maneuverability eight on that one. Maneuverability six. Okay, well that's that's gone then. There you go. Done. You know what? I'm gonna move that down here. Pow! And back into the Exosuit. Let's pick this up. And the last of the cannons, that goes in there. Brilliant! So that's... Oh! Look! All the bars are back now. We've got hyperdrive range, maneuverability and shield strength. Why was that bugged out earlier? Well, for whatever reason, it started working again now. Happy as Larry to see that in there. But wasn't that weird that they were vanished decated on mine? Hopefully, if you've got that bug, hopefully it sorts itself out. I don't know what I did to fix it but there we go it's done and this is a very strange name for this ship isn't it i don't know what to call it let me have a think i'm going to call it the vacuum millennium falcon because it looks like a like one of those little robot hoovers but it also looks like the millennium falcon so there you go it's probably spelt terribly wrong but i don't overly care right the vacuum millennium falcon it's a bit of a mouthful actually it's probably not the bestest of names oh look we've got like a the exotic that just flew in. People have been telling me if you scan this ship, it actually comes up as being an explorer. When I'm scanning my own, it does say class, explorer, but underneath where I've got my name, it says authenticated starship as well. Oh yeah, it's, it is an explorer, S class, nice. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna fly out and see what this thing can do now. Zoom, I guess. Right, it's turning a bit nicer. Pulse is fairly nice. You can really overly tell how fast you're going in pulse. Um, but there we go. Let's test out the weaponry on the old doohickeys. Take that, doohickeys. Asteroids. Missiles. Boom. Oh, I do like those breaky noises. And I could get one or two more phase beam modules in if I really wanted to, but... There we go, people. And there's my shippity ship. Doesn't it look freaking awesome? It looks 100% like everybody else's, but you know, it's my own. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, well, I think I'll fly into the old Nexus and uh, call it a day for this. Meow. I have got some No Man's Sky news, but I'm going to be doing that in a separate video. Yeah. So if you have completed the expedition and got the pet egg and gone to hatch it and you don't even see the egg you hear the noise but then you don't see no pet you don't get nothing that happened on my playstation 5 save and i haven't quite got the pet uh which is a bit of a git uh so that's a bug but apparently in pc experimental that has now been fixed if i go into my roster of pets let's have a look see now all my pet slottages are fairly full see this is a problem I've been given quite a lot of awesome pets through expeditions that I don't want to get rid of. And I've got some pets that have got sentimental value that I don't want to get rid of. If I do want to have that pet, that glowing in dark strider, which I don't overly, to be honest, I like all these pets that I've got here more, I I'd have to release one. We need more pet slots and we also need more ship slots. I think we need at least another six ship slots easy and the reason being 
is because we keep gift, get gifted awesome, awesome ships. And I had to get rid of my solar ship. I got rid of my solar ship to have this. But what ship's next? It really would be a difficult, difficult choice next. It really would. So anyway, hello games, if you're watching, we need some sort of shipyard, even if we can just archive our old ships rather than have to scrap them. Some sort of place where we can stow them at a base or something. Or even, I don't know. I don't know. I'll leave it to you, but we need more ship slots. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.